Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Another day, another tutorial. We continue to create our building. Okay, we have finished on the previous tutorial to, to finish uh, first level. We already done with that. I mean the facade first level. Of course, we have a lot of the things to do. But it's okay, we will finish it. Let me, I will show you one thing. Here is the entrance. As you can see, we he have here the, using the curtain wall. So, don't, let's don't spend the time and create the curtain wall here. Let's go to the first level, floor plan level one. By the way, if you don't have any the file and you want to continue from this part, just go below the video, there you will find uh, the link where you can download the, mm, the current file. So just download the current file and use it just to follow me. This is simple as you just can imagine. Uh, let's create, uh, let's click on the, and yes, don't forget about the likes, comments and whatever. So if you like this tutorial, you of course will share this tutorial and of course you will comment it. If you don't like it, don't do anything and you, I will understand you don't like it and I will stop to do this tutorial. Okay, uh, I will select my curtain wall and now as you can see here is the create similar. Yes guys, sorry, I always think what I'm doing if even it's so simple. Because uh, if you are uh, on the pro level, most of the people who are watching me, they are really beginners. So sorry for that. Or I'm saying like where I can find, for example, to create similar. It's helping, really it's helping for the beginners. Okay, uh, let me will place here the, my curtain wall for all the line. And as you can see, we get a really strange thing. <laughs> yes, it's it's happened. Uh, anyway, let me will use the trim. We will try fix it by the trim. Is it will work or no? We will try it. Is it working? No, it's not working. Let me will go with the trim and here we'll find the wall joint and let's click on the wall joint and let's change it. As you can see now we have the variance of the wall joint and this is variant what I want. Let me will create a bit smaller and this is what we want. Actually you can use the even align key and align from this dot. You can find it, it's really hard to find but you can. I believe you can. And let me, let me, where is that? Align. And just here the small, small dot. It's really hard to find actually. I not will lie to you. Let me, I will. Manually, it's, sometimes it's impossible to do. Ah, okay, I will do like this. Align. Okay, uh, sorry, I will create the some supporter line because it's really hard to find it. Here is the, my some supporting line. I will do, use the align, align, align. Yeah, much better and faster. And don't forget to delete this supporting line because we don't need it. As you can see, I want to select it, but I cannot. How, wh how come? Why I cannot select it? Because you just should unswitch drag elements on selection. Unswitch it and now you can select everything what you want. Let's select it and delete. Everything all right? Yes, everything all right. Corner to corner. And here, here everything all right. Let me I'll go to the 3D. And as you can see, this is full of high. It's not right because if you will go to the starting view, yeah, so starting view, it's really cool because you can see what, what, what's going on here. Uh, let me see, is it full the high? Yeah, it looks like full the high. So we will leave as it is. Uh, what we're gonna do next? Next, we'll go to the level one. Here, we don't have any reference. As you can see, we don't have any reference on the plan, but we have the picture. And as you can see, we have here the door and two panels. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We just will divide it by two panels. Let me go to the level one. I will use the curtain grid and we can directly now divide it. Or we can go to the 3D, select our panel and change it straight away to the curtain wall. Why we did that? Because now once I will divide it, we no need select panels and change it. We now need only change the our door. So let me select this uh, grid and I'll say here it will be 1800 millimeter. Okay, then my door will be exactly 1200 millimeter. It's actually it's a bit too small. Let me, I will do 1300 millimeter at least. And what we get here, uh, I don't like this number at all, but we don't have any choice. We should leave it. So 
Uh, oh my gosh, I, I, it's really noisy for me. Sorry, guys, I, it's really noisy for me. Um, let me, I will change the size because I really don't like when the numbers like that. Mm. <laughs> you cannot leave it. It's a really strange number. Let's leave it like that. I'm so sorry, but uh, it's really terrible when you have not rounded numbers. Uh, okay, so we're done with that. And the last thing what we're gonna do, we need just push it. But push it not inside, as I can see, we should push it outside. Yeah, let me, I will push it outside. Select our cursor wall, move, and let's move corner to corner. We did it. As you can see, we get something like that here. Uh, and we're gonna go to 3D and what, what we can see. So we did it. Now one thing, uh, we cannot place the full of height here at the door. It will be strange and it will be so heavy. If it's not will be heavy, you should get, actually it will be heavy and expensive. No one will do the, this door. Let me see, he's full of high. He is, yeah, full of high. So let's let's leave it as, as that one. But if you no wanna do the full of height, you just can divide it some way here. Let's select this panel and let's change it to the door. Hmm, and we don't have any door, as you can see. This is time to download the doors. How we can do that? A lot of the ways, but we will use the new one. Let's go to the insert. And here you will find the load family. So now you are able to download the family from the Afterdesk cloud. You don't need to go to the inside, uh, to the uh, searching some local files and whatever. You can just go directly to the cloud from the Afterdesk. Okay, here what we're gonna do. We need the doors. As you can see, it's really simple now to find uh, doors which you want. And as you can see, here is the doors what we want. We need the commercial one. So let's use the commercial one. And we have some type of the commercial doors here. Or if you know one, you have some residential one. Or we have like hardware doors too. But we need only the curtain walls, curtain doors, I mean. So it's here, the curtain wall single. So this is what I want. Let me I'll select it and I'll say load it. Nothing changed, as you can see. We need now select this panel and change it to the door. Let me find door, curtain wall, single glass. And the nice thing, as you can see, the naming of the standard Revit families, I mean, which we're downloading, it's pretty same like we are doing. Look, here we did curtain wall solid panel. It's directly understand what is, the, what is the type of the family. And here, door curtain wall single glass. You understand this is a single, this is a curtain wall, this is a door. Done. Let's select it. And here we are. Let's change the graphic to define. And we get our mm, handle here. Let me, I will select it. And I will just change the way it should be. Okay, let me go to the level one, and as you can see, here is the, our, our door. We're done with that. Let me go to the 3D again. But one thing, we don't have the frame. Actually, I prefer the frame. Now it's only up to you. Let's say this is, will be again your homework to create the frame for this door. We already created the frame for the panel. This pretty same thing. If you will create it, you can just share with me in my Telegram group like Look, I'm done that. So maybe it's something something like a challenge for you. Try to do that. If you not will finish, no worries. In the next tutorial, I will create it. Okay, we're done with that. So what we're gonna do next? Next, we will go to the floor. Because without the floor, it looks like not interesting. We will create the floor, internal one. And after that, we will switching to the level two, finally. Let me I will go to the level two. Oh, sorry, level one. Here is level one, and let me see. As you can see, we have only the one, uh, mm, only the one thing where it's going the uh, downstairs. Actually, I don't have uh, the drawings from downstairs, so we will just approximately uh, see where is that. Let me see the level two. Level two here, and as I can see, here is the uh, going to the upstairs, but here I can see it's going to the downstairs. So here is will be hall. Let me I will draw my floor. We are going to the floor, and this is first time when we drawing the floor. As you can see, we don't have the all, uh, our properly floor. 
What we're gonna do, we will use the just generic one. Let's go to the edit type. And as always, the naming. Let me see how it's called on the wall, how our wall is called. This is really matter. Uh, here is the my wall, as you can see. And let me we'll use the one program. It will be help us a lot. It's loading. It's calling the mono snap. Uh, I already talked about the mono snap, so you can download it. It's really, really nice thing. Okay, mono snap is loaded already. And let me will just cut cut this place. And as you can see here, now we can see the naming. Let me will go to the architecture floor, generic floor, duplicate it, and here is the name. Or we can just rename it if you want. Uh, we will just rename it. Yeah. As you can see, the basic wall, so here is, as you can see, it's the floor. And what is that? This is structure, structure walls, or it's not wall, the floor. So we will call it, how we will call it? We will call it the structure wall. This is internal, so int structure and let's see after that after that thickness uh, I don't know yet the thickness but I think it's 300 millimeter and here we will write concrete here is the also the concrete we just will write the con con 300 millimeter so as you can see it's really simple and now you can oh I just forget only this thing as you can see here Okay, let me will. Let me will use it. Okay, done. Let's say okay. Let's go to the edit. Don't forget to change the material. Because now it's default material. We want to change to the concrete. Where is our concrete? Concrete, concrete, concrete is here. And which one? Which one? I don't remember actually which one we should use the concrete. Let's use one of them if something uh, else will change it yeah this one let's say okay 300 millimeter don't forget say okay and one time okay done now we can start to create our uh, floor we're creating floor from the corner of our structure so because the our wall is structure wall it will be connected to the corner how you can do that you can just create because our building is really simple we can create it like this and after that just modify don't lock it don't lock it really I really recommend you don't lock it uh, what we're gonna do this is internal wall here is the external part so that means here will be another type of the our floor because uh, you know the insulation all these things uh, we cannot uh, place the same uh, floor to the outside let's use the trim and as you can see, when I'm trying to trim, it's deleting from this part. Let's first the slice. Ah, where is the slice? Let me use the shortcut because I remember the, here is the slice. Let's slice it here. After that, trim. Why I slice it? Because we just connected one part. And another part we will connect here. And as you can see, just rounded. Uh, what we're going to do here? Everything all right. But here... It's going to the below, and we have like, um, I'm not engineer, but we cannot uh, place our concrete in, uh, in staircase part. We will just do like this. Like this. Again, slice. Trim. And let's trim it. Okay, done. Here we do, did everything all right. And here the same thing. As you can see here, we have the shaft. Let me will create the shaft directly. Actually, we will do like this. Why? Because our staircase is independent. And here we have the shaft. Why we need this here? The Our curtain, uh, I mean our floor, we don't have any reason. So that's why it's like this. Here we need, because this is internal one. Okay, we're done with that. Let's say okay. We actually not finish. Let me will go to the 3D. And as you can see, here is the level level one. We did it. Level one. Perfect. Actually, you can uh, a bit push it up, but this is my idea because uh, actually it's going to the zero. Yeah, it's going to the zero. 
uh, first level and actually we need all our f yeah we need all our walls put on the minus 300 millimeter mm, here here no need okay let me i will do sorry i i'm thinking and i'm creating so it's sometimes it's really hard that's why Maybe it's better for you because you can see the real process. Okay, let me, I will create one more floor. I will create one more floor. It will be totally same. Let me, I will duplicate, but it will be not internal. That will be external. Uh, oh, rename. I don't need this too. Let's say, okay. And we will pu put it external to external part. Uh, we should change it. It's going like this. No, it shouldn't go like this. Okay, I will change it right now. Small part here, part here. And one more here. Tri trim. Here, here. This one. Oh, one more, I forgot. Okay, done. And here we will connect. This is uh, because uh, we have here the gap, actually. As you can see, we have here the gap. We should close this gap. Now it's much, much better. Again, don't forget the slice and connect one by one. One here, one here, one here, one here. Done, it's going inside and this going to the cold part, okay. Let me I will go to the 3D, and what we have, here the one, here the second one, and it's connected, but we get problem here. Actually, it's not problem, as you can see, it's not big problem, because our wall should go in a bit deeper. So we should say minus 300 millimeter, and done. Same thing for the not curtain wall, same thing for this wall, because we're placing our curtain wall inside to the wall, right? So, let me do like this, and we get magic. It's really, really working. That's why I put uh, all curtain wall inside to the walls, because uh, I'm thinking about, like, we have, uh, we should have this part in our building. So, by this way, it's really easy to create. You don't need some special ge geometry or something else to create it. And minus 300. And here also I will do minus 300 millimeter. For this wall, we should have a two. Only for this wall we don't need, because here we don't have any wall. Let's write here the minus 300 millimeter. And here there's some strange situation, as you can see. So let me will also place here the 300 millimeter. It's nothing changed, only this part. Okay, now it looks what we, how we want. Okay, let me think. Okay, all these walls should be also go to the minus 300 millimeters. I did it by top key. Minus 300 and here we'll do the same just use the top key if you want here we cannot because uh, here we don't have a chain of the walls Only these walls we need 300 millimeters so done Actually oh See here it's a really nice situation uh, We have the one union wall and that part also going the, to deeper Actually, it shouldn't, but it's going. So we can leave it as it is, or what we can do. Select this wall. Uh, let me, I will show it on the first level. Select this wall. After that, go to the slice. Slice it somewhere here. And this wall, we should also the slice. Let me, I will slice it somewhere here. What we're gonna do? Now use the trim. One trim, second trim, and same here. One trim, second trim. What's going on right now? Let me go to the 3D. And now it's different part. Here we can say zero. And be careful, if you wrote the number 
and once you will don't if you even not uh, click on the on the enter uh, i mean on enter on your carry keyboard but you moved your mouse for example here it's automatically Revit understand like you agree with these changes. So if you do some changes inside of the properties, don't move your mouse. Once you will move out from the properties, Revit will understand you already done your deal. Maybe you collapsing something, I don't know. Maybe you did some really huge number and Revit can stuck. So be careful with that. Okay, we're done with that. As you can see, everything all right, everything what we want. Uh, only the special thing we uh, we didn't finish here, but here we can solve this problem really easy. We just will use join. Let's join this wall and this wall. And now we need to join this part, which shaking I mean, shaking as you can see. I don't like when it's shaking really. I think it's uh, our wall going inside. Ah, this is our floor going inside to the other floor. Really stupid. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we can join actually. Let me join this wall and this floor. Now nothing is shaking as you can see. Much, much better. Okay, we're done with this floor. As you can see, it really uh, takes uh, a bit the time, but uh, sorry, we need to spend it. Uh, actually, when you continue to create something uh, on your uh, plan, it's hard to see what's going on under the floor because now we have the floor. You have the two ways how to uh, just uh, hide your floor. First way, you're going to the view. After view, you're going to the visibility graphic and just unhide the floors. Here's the floor. Just uncheck it, okay? And now you cannot see your floor. Or, Ctrl Z, going again to the visibility graphics. Here you will find your floor, but we're going to the projection surface, transparency here, and just say sum of couple the percent, like 8%. Even 8% percent, uh, it's uh, more than enough to see what's going on underlay, as you can see. So, it's really helping. Uh, maybe you forgot, you can forget uh, to switch it on, so that's why it's really helping. Now we no need our previous uh, panels, let me, I will delete it, done. De uh, that panels did really great job, and now we're switching to the level 2. So what's going on with the level 2? As you can see here, the facade is pretty similar, and as you understand, we will just copy it from the first level. Let me, I will go to the first level, and what we're gonna do? We will do it one by one. Just be careful. I will do it like this. Like this. Let me, I will see what I'm copying. Wall, uh-huh. Curtain wall grids, uh-huh. And panels, this is everything all right. Let's say okay. Let's copy it. Let's go to the level two. And now I will paste a line to the current view. So it means a line to, this to, this, to, to the same position. Uh, as you can see, uh, our underlay is a bit different, yet it can be because um, we scale it up and scale it down, it can be a bit different. We copy it and it's pretty similar, as you can see. It's pretty similar. As I said, maybe our uh, transparent, uh, our underlay is a bit different, but it's okay. Let me go to the 3D and let's see how it looks like here. Although it looks not bad, actually I like it. The one thing only, see the wall going inside. So you should here say zero. And now everything will be all right. I really like it. Only that part we will change because here we don't have uh, entrance, but we can change it right now. Let me I'll select this wall and I'll just say this wall will be curtain panel with frame. Done. Curtain panel with frame and as you can see, we're using pretty same, um, pretty same logic, but we get different result. Okay, let's go to the another wall. Let me go to the level one. As you can see, I'm starting not from this facade because this is facade. It's a bit different. Let me will select everything here. Copy it. Level two. Paste. You can actually paste by align the levels, but I'm prefer to align to the current view. I want to control everything. Okay. 
here, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty same. Even dimensions looks like same. Let's maybe we'll go to the 3D. And first thing, wall should, should be offset zero. Let's say zero, it's connecting, everything connecting all right. And only this panel will be panel, not what we did. Uh, here is a really nice situation because which type of the panel here, I don't know. Let's see. Level 2. Mm. It looks like here also the entrance. So, okay. Maybe here is the internal door. We will leave as... A, as a, yeah, it has uh, also the bridge as you can see. So we will leave as it is. Okay, let's maybe we'll go to the level 1 and let's copy this part. Actually, this part... Oh, it's it was terrible because I selected the panel from the other curtain wall. Let's maybe we'll copy level 2 place current view so current view means it will place on the same position as the um, original one let me go to the 3d again select your wall say the zero and now actually we have the picture from this side as you can see here the actually a bit bigger the window and this window pretty same yeah this window pretty same but this one and this one is bigger. Uh, can we see it on the level 2? I think this one. Give me a second. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? We just will delete this part. We just will delete this part. And we will delete this part. As you can see here is the big window. What about here? Here the same thing. We not deleting the panel. We deleting the deleting only the curtain grids. One grids, second grids, and third grids. Done. And as you can see, big one. Let me I'll go to the 3D. And as you can see, this is now pretty same. Huh? It's really looks looks better. So what we're gonna do next? Uh, just try to imagine it. if you not will do the curtain wall with panels, how many time you will spend to just reconfigure it. I think a lot. Okay, let me I will check here is everything all right. Here is my minus 300. Here is the minus 300 connecting all right. Everything all right. And the last one is this one. The whole one. First level. Let's copy that one. Copy it. Level 2. Copy in current place view. Okay, now what's going on? Uh, first, it's a bit different as you can see. And we will change it on the plan. First, I want to see where is the my wall, actually. Let me do a bit small. Delete elements. I don't care about that. I will change everything. Whenever I will change everything. Okay, so let me I will trim it. And I will say this wall should be start from the zero. Okay, and now it's time I want to see what's going on under this wall. Warframe mode on. Okay. Here, my curtain wall. And it's going to the this part. Okay, till here. My panel. It shouldn't be till here. My panel should be some start some, somewhere here. Architecture, and let's cut it. 1,600, 800, 800, 800, yeah, it's again taking the time. I'm sorry, but we should finish it. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting what's going on here. I will go to the 3D right now. Let me I will change all these panels. This panel should be, be just a panel. Where is the my panel? Okay. Uh, first I want to see is it rotate on the right position? No, it's rotate on the another position. So I will select the panel, tab key, and here the panel, just a panel. Okay, here is also just a panel. 
and you can do it just one by one. Let me will do just one by one. And here the panel. I will rotate this thing. I will rotate this thing like this. Okay, better. Actually, we will. Mm -hmm. But it's another tutorial. <laughs> Actually, this is, will be another tutorial. Okay, so now it looks like much better. Let me go to the level two. And what's going on here? Here everything all right. Here everything all right. All right. Looks like a. Okay, what's going on here? It's okay. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh. here we have the problem. Grid one and 800 millimeter. And you can actually change your panel right here. It's also possible. And everything right here. Uh, okay. Okay, let me go to the 3D, and now we have the picture, actually. Let's see. The first one. All of them have the small windows here. Okay, so this is the deal. Only that one, I think, don't, don't, don't have. 400 millimeter. 400 millimeter for all of them. Let me will create. Mm -hmm. Here interesting, because actually I cannot see properly what's going on here. Actually, I think it should be... Aha, uh -huh, here's the panel. I can see it. And 400 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Here's the panel, actually. Okay, much better. 400 millimeter. And everything here, all right. Uh, maybe here also the 400 millimeter. And here it's already. Let me change now to the hidden mode. And as you can see, yeah, 3D. And all of them have the small panel. We did it. Congratulations. We finished our facade. Let me go to this view. And as you can see, we did it. So the next thing uh, I think we will finish to right now. The next thing we should create here the mm, second floor. Let me will create the second floor, and we already finish the our amazing form of our building. Okay, let me go to the 3D one more time. And the nice thing, as you can see, here we have like some uh, gap. And if you will look the picture, we don't have any gap. We have just one straight line. And that thing will help us. Let me go to the level two. And now I will go to the floor. We need floor, external one. And we will create our external floor. Let me will create here, 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 and here. Now I need a trim. Let's trim it. And let's say okay. Don't attach. Let me I'll go to the 3D. And what we can see here. We did it <laughs> really fast. Yeah, it's working like this. Uh, now you can select only only your curtain wall. This one curtain wall. Yes, I will select it. And I will say uh, you should top offset minus 300, not 250. Minus 300. And now it's more looks like what we want. And here it's also everything correct. And... Let's see. This is what we want. Well, let me show the picture. And here the same thing as you can see. One line. And here we have the one line. Let me show like this. See? Okay. So this finish for today. So, but only the one thing. Uh, le let me change it. Uh, only the one thing as you can see here is the one line of the angle. We don't have it. So. Give me. I, I I don't like when something it's not uh, as we want. Uh, we should change it. Of course we will change it. Let me I will select the my curtain wall, and I will place it here. After that I will place it till this angle. I will use the align key. I will try to find this dot. I found it. Let me place 3D. Much better. As you can see, it's much better. It's not, not, not one line actually, 
one line. Ah, it's my stupidness. Uh, it's not one line because I did it on the opposite side. It will be here. Yeah. And this part we will just connect. So this part we should just connect like this. Or we just can uh, join it. One and second one and one and uh, this one. After that go to the join. I open this small button and say switch order. Switch order. Switch order I say it. Okay, he no one a switch order, so I will change the boundary. It's his problem, not mine. <laughs> okay, we will do like this. One, two, say okay. Don't attach. Now it's one line, as you can see. So now it's more better than it was before. Actually, the one thing, as you can see, it's uh, a bit uh, extended. Because I think the problem this wall. Yeah, problem this wall. Yeah, when you trans when you tracing something, it's uh, happens sometimes. So just look. Okay. Much much better. We did it. Here we will change. So as you as you can see now we get some problems. Now we should solve it, but it's not big problem. We can solve it really fast. And now we can realize we no need change this uh, floor. It's okay. So we can just use the trim again. We can delete this part. We say can say okay, don't attach and and now I realize we should move it a bit more. <laughs> Let's move it a bit more. So we are not lazy. We can we can do it. Let's go to the 3D. Too much. Let me I'll select. Now it's much better. Okay. We're done with that. So now we can continue with the other things.